mans, my this friends. This is for the boys, right? This, this is, is for, for the boys. boys. I guess and the girls, but the girls could definitely. Here's the thing, guys. You can use all these tips and apply them to your situation, your scenario. They're universal. So exactly. Even though we're talking to the boys today. Universal tips. Universal tips. Okay, universal tips. The only reason why we're talking to the boys today is because we feel like it shows and it, it presents itself louder when it comes to it really men. Does. It really does. When it comes to rejection, we get how rejection feels. It's shitty. You shot the ball. You took the shot. You took the shot. There you go. <laughs> you took the shot. You took the shot. And it was an air ball. Air ball. And I mean, before we get into this, I think you need to understand why we are shooting shots out here. Okay? Right. As men and as women. <laughs> bruh, bruh. Okay. okay. <laughs> You're blocked with, with Ian Middleman, Middleman and, and Simona Catalano. Catalano. Think of it like this. It is a game. So let's say you're playing basketball. Let's say you're playing any type of fucking sport. How many times do you have to take a shot, practice taking that fucking shot in order for the shot when it's game time to go the fuck in, okay? Practice makes perfect. Exactly. And when you're practicing, aka shooting your shots with girls right. and vice versa with guys, there will be a number of air balls that are taken. You will shoot them and nothing will fucking happen. You will be left on red. You'll be left undelivered. They will ignore she'll walk you. walk away. She'll take the drink and just go on with her life. You know exactly. I mean? so, and so the key here is to adapt. How do you react? How do you come back once the air ball is shot? Right. Okay. It's part of the game. And I think it says a lot about your character, who you are, how you feel about yourself. And again, it leaves a lasting impression on people. Yes. So if you're the type of motherfucker that's out here, shoots a shot, whether it's DM or in person, and then you react in a very negative way because yes. you don't get the reaction that you're expecting, that's problematic for you, right? And what yes. you're doing is you're projecting your insecurities onto somebody else because you have an expectation yes. that I, you're going to respond the way I want you to respond. Yes. But here's the thing. Before you go in to taking your shot, you have have to understand that it could go either way and you have yeah. to be prepared for either way you, you might you might score you might get an air ball like Simona said and I think it's important for you to prepare yourself and not have too many expectations yes. when it comes to that I think that like the best way to shoot your shot and like this is what I like doing if I want to shoot my shot is having no expectation I want to do this I want to DM this person I want to slide in or I want to message them or I want to go up to them I want to get them a drink whatever it is mm -hmm. I want to do this mm -hmm. because I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of a vibe and I want to let him know that I'm interested and then I want to see how he reacts. It's not only practice, but it's also good for you because you're you're avoiding that what if. Why didn't I do this? Why not? Right. You live once, shoot your shot, see if it hits. If it doesn't, it doesn't move on. Let it roll off your back and, and push forward. Like, again, this is a great learning curve for us to train that muscle of understanding how rejection feels and how do we handle and react to rejection, exactly. which is the key here. And it's just like in dating, I think inevitably everybody is going to face rejection at one point or another. 100%. It's going to sting. It sucks. It's like not a good feeling I think that you know understanding what you want from shooting your shot and what you're looking for is important and always shoot your shot with someone that makes sense for you because that makes you think a little bit longer and harder on how you want to approach it and actually put in that effort to make you better at shooting your shot mm -hmm. right because the more effort you put into shooting your shot with someone that you're like I want them to actually respond to this versus I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it just to do it. Whichever yeah. you probably won't get a response like that, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So to make it better for yourself, you want to put in that effort so that way you're more comfortable shooting your shot. You learn your groove too, right? With the practice, you yes. learn your style, you learn what your leading line is, you learn how to approach it, you learn how to deal with them not reciprocating, how to move forward. Yeah. I think that the biggest thing here, guys, is you didn't lose anything. Okay. Yes. When you are shooting your shot, you don't lose anything because you didn't have anything to begin with. Exactly. I think the biggest issue, and we were speaking about this earlier, is kind of like we work it up. We make it seem like it's this big thing. Like, oh my God, you, you have a crush on someone or you like someone, they're so hot, whatever. You put all this pressure and this expectation on this person. And then when you shoot your shot, you're expecting that in return, which is obviously like yeah. it's 50 50. It's also like a learning, it's a learning curve. I think that taking everything in yeah. dating as like a learning experience is so beneficial because mm -hmm. then you can like kind of sit back and you'll be like, Hmm, did I really like apply that much effort? Did I slide in with something basic? Do I think that she's heard that line before? Mm -hmm. Like, did I say something that w warranted a response? Cause a lot of guys do this. Did I say something that warranted a response? So important. Right. It's just like, you got to think about these things. And then it's like, when you think back and you dissect it, it's like, 
I get why maybe she didn't respond. Mm -hmm. A little bit more effort was maybe warranted. Don't try it on the same girl, try it on someone else. Do you know what I mean? When it comes to like DMs and shooting your shot via social media, I think that because a lot of people sit in the requested DMs, if they're not following you back right. and that type of yeah. situation, don't take things super like discouraging seriously. or personal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't take it seriously or personally. If someone just hasn't opened the message or hasn't seen it or seen it and like doesn't know you and like you don't have a lot of photos maybe and you're private on Instagram and they don't know you so they didn't follow you back or whatever the case may be, like it can, your shot can go in at a later date. This won't always happen, but this is a potential. It definitely has the uh, potential of becoming a thing or someone seeing it three months later and being like, oh, this guy's actually like kind of cool. Yeah. Like, I saw it and like now I want to respond. Do you know what I mean? And that's why how you handle rejection can make it or break it for you if that's the case. Which yeah. again, it's not always the case. So don't sit there with the false hope thinking that yeah. like the 2% that might respond back months down the line is like a thing that's going to guarantee yourself exactly. to like, get another shot with this person. But it's more so like if you handle rejection correctly with elegance, as a man, yeah. without without lashing out or catching a mood or an attitude, what that's gonna do is gonna leave a lasting impression on this person. Like, okay, you know what? He didn't like lash out on my DMs be like, okay, great, like you saw it, like yeah. what the fuck? Or like at a club, like if you hit on a girl and you offer her to buy a drink, by the way, not the best fucking line. Not the best. We've spoken about this before. But we'll get into it. We'll get into it. So if you're trying to pick up a girl at a club or you see her out and about and you, and you shoot your shot, but she's like not interested or she's caught off guard and you handle rejection well, you're like, okay, like no problem. Enjoy your night. Like all the best. You look great by the way. Like, and move forward as if that, that was not something that kept you up at night or yeah. like, got you, Do you mad. Know what that does though, like handling the situation like that, it makes me more inclined to want to reapproach you. Yes. Yes. It makes me more inclined to want to be like, oh, wait, wait, but he's actually cool. He's a nice guy. He's actually a nice guy and he's cool. And like, if that happens from that angle as a guy, you should be smart and play on that angle. You should play on that angle. Because, but you guys don't. No. <laughs> it's like a missed fucking opportunity. I'm like, what, what? what's happening? A lot of guys like to pull all of their lines and like they're super nice at first when they're hitting on you, but then you see their true colors the minute you reject them. And a lot of girls actually will say no at the beginning. Not saying this is a healthy tactic, but a lot of us, including I don't us. Even, I don't even, I'm not even, okay. It's not healthy if you're doing it intentionally. However, I'm genuinely usually not actually interested, but to speak to this tactic that Eden is talking about, it is very true because yes. when you see a man's true colors, you're either like confirmation, I, I yes. made the right yes. fucking choice. Yes, so that's also what happens to me. It's just like, if a guy approaches me and I'm like in the moment, I'm caught off guard, I'm just like not, I'm just not, not down right not now. Down. Like I'm with yeah. my girls, I'm busy. And you come and approach me, it's just not the right time. But then you catch a move and I'm like, no, I'm good with the drink. Like, hey, whatever. Like, uh. I'm like, motherfucker, see, I already knew it. Thank God I said no. But then yeah. there, there's the odd few guys that will be like, oh my God, no problem. So sorry for interrupting. Like, enjoy your night. You look fabulous. Like, I'll be here if anything. And like, do you, smile. Do you want to know I'm why? Like, come why back. Girl, exactly. <laughs> why girls will come back or buy you a fucking drink or literally be on your dick after that is because... You are a fucking unicorn. You're a fucking unicorn. Literally. You're a unicorn. Literally. You're a unicorn. I cannot count the number of times that I've been in a club and I've rejected a guy and him gets so aggressive, aggressive to the point where Disgusting. I am like, Eden, we have to call the bouncer right fucking now. Yeah. Like it's actually problematic. So it's just like you also, if you're a guy who is in your negative masculine energy, don't expect that you just coming up to me and throwing a drink in my face or fucking Thank giving you. me some sort of a compliment on my ass or my tits or my face is me that I'm supposed to be gawking over you. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cause the amount of guys and like we've spoken about this in a, especially in a club setting or a public setting, the amount of guys that have already done that, it like gets to a point being a, a woman where you're like, okay, like you're is, frustrated. You're annoyed. I'm frustrated and I'm annoyed. Cause it's like, thank you like so much. Like I can appreciate the compliment. You, I look great. That's fabulous. That's amazing. But I've heard it one too many times that I am getting a little bit irritated because it's just like, let me be, I'm not just like here to like look pretty. Like there's more to me. Yes. And I think that as a guy, just be mindful of that when you're approaching women that that like the new wave of, of girls is like, we have more to offer when you're upset about 
being rejected yeah. you can be upset in a corner alone in the privacy of your own little fucking home but when you're taking it out on somebody what that goes to show that person and people around is that you're the most insecure motherfucker you are not a man and you're actually struggling with your yeah. own shit and nobody wants to fuck with you you're like bratty kid okay i want candy you say no and he catches a fucking mood like a child that's how you're yeah. acting yeah you say i want you she says no and you're like what the fuck i deserve you i own like i should have you no no that's why that's how it comes across and i think you guys need to rewire your brain and just like make it be known in your head how am i coming across why am i getting upset about something exactly. that literally was not a guarantee yeah exactly. that's on you that's if you're gonna shoot your shot hold yourself accountable and responsible to the reaction that you're going exactly. to receive exactly always shooting your shot is always going to be a risk it's going to be a gamble 100%. it could go good it could not go good and that's why i think Shooting your shot definitely in person is a little bit more challenging because it stings a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And you really do need to take the time to regroup and come back from that. So if you are in a public setting, I think that it, it takes a little bit of time and like you can't just rebound it and go to the next girl. Do you know what I mean? Because we'll feel that energy. Yeah. And then it's just like another no and another no. And then maybe and that's you why you, you get out. upset. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's so it's fair. just like in a public setting really take the time like we've always said in a public setting to really observe the girls mm -hmm. see what they're doing see what the vibe is how can you approach them maybe you can just send a drink over as opposed to like physically coming walking over, over coming yes. over yes. approaching her grabbing her by the waist which is unwarranted in a public setting no you know for the younger guys that are still learning it's it's important for you to be attentive and watch and mm -hmm. observe before you act that's making an educated choice into going up to this person. You're more, you have more information and knowledge because people give out a lot of information without noticing, right? Body language, friend yes. group, vibes, all this stuff. And that's up to you to catch on to before you come up. It's very obvious to a girl when you come up and you're uneducated about what's going on about, you know, yeah. like it just kind of like, you feel like a random person. He's like, what, eeny, meeny, miny, okay, I'm going up to you. Exactly. Like, it's or not when you personal. think that it's exactly when it's not personal or when you think that it's, um, someone comes up to you and they feel entitled. Mm. Um, Disgusting. you could be a, a great looking man, but just because you come with that attitude, because I'm like, no, exactly. When I feel like you think you're entitled just because you've made the first move, it's going to be a no. It's, yeah, you're I'm not, I don't yeah. like that energy no. and I don't want that in my space. Mm -hmm. The And I think I've told you this before. The, the guy that came up to me that had the best pickup line that I can recall, he didn't. it wasn't even a line because he said it and then he just kept moving about his night. I love that. We were dancing. <laughs> this guy comes up to me and he's like, you're such a good girl. Like literally keep doing you. I love to see it kept walking so and hot i literally you were like trying to hook up with the bouncer i literally <laughs> ran over to eden i was like oh my god oh my god that guy just like i got a little bit flustered but then i thought about it and i was like that's actually hot because he's actually thing. he's actually telling me that i'm different yeah I'm different and all the own. other people and he sees that and i'm like ooh, bye yeah you get me exactly i was 100%. like and that's very hot the figuring out your your narrative and how you're gonna approach i think even saying something in passing dropping it and like letting her be if you see that be. she's busy right he like, touched my shoulder like he didn't touch my waist. He touched my fucking that's shoulder. That's a man. That's my a shoulder. man. That's a man. Shoulder. Everyone, if you <laughs> shoulder. know, you know. I also want to say something that I, I learned actually going to therapy. Ooh. She explained to me. Yeah, hello. Uh, I love this. She explained to me that you're responsible for yourself or for everything up to here. So that means that you We're all learning. are responsible this. for yourself, period. Anything else that comes from the other person is not your responsibility. Yeah. So in the case that you do hit on somebody or you do do a pickup line or you introduce yourself and that person's giving you attitude, which is obviously as well not fair, right? But you also be mindful that other people might be going through their own shit just like you are, right? You're responsible up to here. So anything else, if you receive rejection, if you receive attitude, if you receive like fuck off or fuck you or whatever it might be, yes, it's not a nice feeling, but that's it. That's not your issue to deal with. You're responsible for yourself up to here, right? Exactly. Up to the very end of you. That's it. So then the way you react is all about you. You have to be like, okay, listen, that's you. Don't let it affect you. Don't be upset. Don't catch a mood. Be like, you know what? Totally cool. Enjoy your night. I'm so sorry for bothering you. Walk away gracefully. That will literally throw the ball back at that motherfucking gracefully. person and be like, whoa, wait, what? Yes, it's not because, a piece of shit. Exactly. And you know what? Actually, like a side note to this is a lot of girls are actually very uncomfortable rejecting men in person because of the aggression that Hello. we face yeah. afterwards. Yeah. So it's, it's very, very problematic. And I think that 
if you are a guy that's shooting your shot, like I think that it is important to be mindful of everything that women go through, like even just being out in a public setting, going out, you know, everybody's always gawking at you. Everybody's staring at you. Like guys really do think that you're just a piece of meat. Like, we're not saying that all guys are. It's just like a vast, it's, it's a very it. common theme and yeah. you feel it. Yeah. So we're already uncomfortable and it takes a lot, really it does, to reject a guy in a club when, you know, maybe your friend is busy talking to another guy and it's just you and you feel like it's a one-on-one -on -one thing. I'm not saying you've ever did this. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying in general for girls that maybe feel like I don't even have my friend to like lean on right now or I don't have anybody else or like people mm -hmm. are busy mm -hmm. and you feel like it's your role or your responsibility to talk to the guy and to entertain him and it's not. So be mindful of, of how she can be feeling because a lot of girls are uncomfortable generally even in a club setting without guys hi hello it's me this is such an important point to so. emphasize for guys to understand and put things into perspective because i think hearing it from women who have gone through and who feel this way it's very important for you guys to realize what it's like to be in their position because i know that you're coming from a yeah. very selfish place because we all walk around with blinders thinking about what we want how we feel but we don't we don't really tap into how the other person might feel or might react so i think another really good tip to throw in here um, besides rejection and shooting your shot is also to like give them an out give them an out so if you're coming in and you're approaching somebody give them the opportunity to be like you know what I'm cool not like being like yeah hey, you know just wondering like blah, blah blah I see that you're hanging out here alone like I just wanted to like say hello like what are you doing like, like hey are you okay like are you good give like, them an out are your friends here yeah, I yeah. just wanted to check in casual. I think that like coming in casual and with a sense of safety yes and security these are general things that women tend to gravitate towards. So if you can really play up those things and not in a um, deceitful or manipulative yeah. manner, genuinely that you care for the other person. They'll be able to read it if it's fake. So Do you know what you I mean? You can try, yeah. I think that like as a guy, I think those are your best things is like take a minute, be mindful, make sure that the approach is authentic and real and that you actually want to do it and that there is no expectation. And I think that... When there's no expectation, no, things work. Women. And I know, I know it sounds annoying because I fucking hate when people say it too. But whenever I've shot my shot and it's gone in, it's because I literally expected nothing. I'm like, this person doesn't even respond. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's practice for me. Like, I want to make, yeah. make sure that I'm doing a good job, that I still got my groove, that I'm That's right. whatever. And then they respond and I'm like, oh, okay. Right? So go in sort of expecting a no. Yeah. Go in expecting a no. Just go in knowing that I'm doing this for myself. I'm doing this A for practice, but also B because if I don't take this shot, then like I'm, I might be missing out on something that could right. possibly transpire, but I'm not going to get my hopes up because the chances are up to her. I mean, it's 50, 50 again, it's, it is yeah. a gamble. So going in there, I think it's important to know how to shoot your shot, to figure out your narrative and your voice, and also to know how to deal with the rejection beautifully because at the end of the day, guys, just to reiterate, you did not lose anything. It doesn't say anything exactly. or question your character as long as you deal with it in a mature, healthy manner and you're respectful. There's nothing wrong that can be said about you. Nothing bad that can be said about exactly. you. Exactly. And then you will stand out in her mind. Trust me, in the middle of the evening, she'll be like, oh my God, you know what? Like, that guy was she'll so sweet. She'll come looking sweet. for you. I've literally done that 100%. before. 100%. Honestly? I'm literally We're not trying to get your expectations like, up high, but no. like... <laughs> but sometimes when like the night is not transpiring well for you, and yeah. you're like, listen, I just wasn't in the vibe. I just got here. I wasn't feeling things. I needed a minute to warm up. He approached me too soon. I didn't think I was vibing, but then maybe he's been there all night and he's been really cool and he's just been doing his own thing and not acting like a thirsty little fucker. Yes, he left me alone. Like He, he left he me alone. He got the hint, yeah. I just like might go up to the booth and be like, hey, what's up? With rejection, it's part of dating. You have to get rejected and you have to shoot your shot in order for it to eventually go in. Again, guys, game. It's like a game, basketball. Mm -hmm. You're practicing for the shot to go in. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you're making an effort, that you're thinking about things and that ultimately at the end of the day, you handle it well, okay? Mm -hmm. And I think that that's also a muscle we have to train because it sucks. It's mm -hmm. an ego hit. We don't feel good. You feel a little bit stupid. You feel embarrassed. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, I didn't read the room. Yes. And that's fine. Being able to pause once you get that rejection and then stopping yourself from reacting exactly. and actually understanding why you're feeling the way you're feeling yeah. and then recuperating and coming back correct is super important. And that literally is how you train yourself to be a mature, strong, and confident person right. through and through in life. But if you think about it too, like if you do get mad, this is like another side note before we finish up. If you do get mad... When you think about it, like you're just mad because someone didn't like someone you said back. no. And here's the thing, nobody you're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. Exactly. You're not just like 
that person won't be everyone's cup of tea. You won't be everyone's cup of tea. That's just how it works, right? Exactly. You're not for everyone, you'll and that's find... actually good because you're an acquired taste. You'll find your own little ginger peppermint tea. Yeah, okay. don't let rejection stop you from continuously shooting your shot for other people. Just because yes. someone said no doesn't mean that it's a no through and through. doesn't mean that women are shit. doesn't mean that you can't do that. You can't decide that based off of one or two or three bad exactly. interactions and bad apples that everyone is like that. I think that's super important Also, like, it's just we keep going because here... <laughs> We keep on coming, baby. About it, if you think about it, the people that continuously shoot their shot that doesn't go in, that they're constantly rejected, are the people that are not analyzing what they're doing wrong. Ooh. Right? If you take the time, if you take the time to just dissect, mm -hmm. think about things a little bit, I'm telling you, the shot will go in. And it all 100%. comes down to believing that the shot will inevitably go in and that you are confident. It's not cocky shit. It's just confident. Say. When you're shooting your shot, it's important to be confident in, in who you are as a person right. because you are a great person and there are great attributes to you and it's all just about finding that person that it clicks with. The, the person that registers with the person that exactly. messages with you well and the person that gives you a chance and that's the person that you want. You don't want some random bitch. Salut, bitch. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. Cheers. We hope you enjoyed this video. I if you guys it. have any other tips about how to deal with rejection or any experiences you've had, leave them in the comments below. Any problems that you've had, any encounters that you want us to like help you out with, we can also do like a part two to this or and debunk some. Or we'll answer them on our podcast, Bigger Balls. Guys, if you're not listening to it, go ahead and do so. Rate it five stars. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, Follow us on the gram. We're asking you to do a lot of things, We're but it's asking. really not that big of a deal. It doesn't really cost you a dollar. Don't do that to us. Don't it, do that to it, us. it doesn't cost you a dollar. Okay, let's go. Hit the bell Hit the for notifications. Hit the bell. Like this video and we'll see you back here so soon. Bye.